This is a brand deal. We are going to work. This is not the time to dilly dally. Yes, we're gonna have fun, but we're gonna be on our ish. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jazz. If you're new here, I create a lot of content on self-care, daily vlogs, how to become your best self, how to glow up. So if that sounds like your thing, go ahead, join the family, hit the subscribe button. And if you like daily vlogs like this fun one, go ahead and hit the like. Y'all, I feel like it has been a minute since I have been daily vlogging. That's really for like, you can really tell because I have a side part. Go on to my uh, TikTok um, and my Instagram to see all the content on my hair and everything like that. I did film a sewing maintenance video here on YouTube. I don't know when it's going to be uploaded, but we have a very busy and fun weekend. Well, let me tell you where I've been, um, why there hasn't been um, as many daily vlogs. Um, this one will probably go up next week, but I haven't been feeling well. My boyfriend came in to town last weekend and it was really good. We went to the Four Seasons and got some massages. We went to Planta here in Atlanta. Um, where else do we go? We went to Crew Alpharetta. We just like did our normal stuff. But I would say like half the time I was like suffering from like really, really bad cramps and they lasted me really until like today. Today is like the first day I felt fine and today is Friday. So he left on like Monday and that was probably the worst day of it all. Um, and I just started to feel okay today. So I've had like a lot of days where I've just been, I mean, it's been a very, very productive week. I got a lot filmed. I got a lot edited. I got a lot of invoicing, a lot of contracts out. I got a lot done, don't get me wrong. But um, it, I was just sick. And not that I was sick like throwing up, although I did throw up over the weekend. That's just because I was wearing a corset and I was eating so much. I got sick, whatever, whatever. <laughs> but um, I was sick in terms of like pain. So that's where I was, but I'm feeling better today. And I'm glad I'm feeling better today because today is a very, very fun day. So, um, like I said in the last vlog, I hit 400K on TikTok. And it was kind of a bittersweet because once I hit that, it was like a really big goal for me. Once I hit that number, um, obviously I started to do like some reflection on my content creator journey, on just my social media journey in general. And while I was really proud of that accomplishment, I still felt like some of the things that I personally wanted to accomplish haven't been accomplished. Like for instance, like you really want to go on a brand trip, really want to go on a brand trip very badly. Um, and then also I just don't get invited to Atlanta events. Don't get invited to Atlanta events. I will see content creators at Nobu, at the W, at this, at this, at this. 
And it's so funny because I was always wondering, I'm like, why don't I ever get invited? Like, I feel like I'm big enough on TikTok. I feel like I have enough of a social media presence. Like, what am I doing wrong? And then I was talking to my boyfriend and he was like, Jasmine, you don't even have Atlanta in your bio. I was like, I was like, there was a reason for that because I didn't want to niche myself down because I, am, I do have a goal for myself to move to New York. So I didn't want to put down Atlanta and then also to move to New York and like people think that I'm still in Atlanta. Like, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to floss while I talk to y'all. But, so I was like, you're right. So I went ahead and I put Atlanta in my bio. I won't even hold y'all. Two, within that two weeks, invited to Atlanta events and just things that are happening in the city because my boyfriend does not work anywhere near influencing or anything social or creative whatever i'm like that just changed my career he really helped me out like wow so i say all that to say is that like a week maybe two weeks ago i got an email from the lexus team and they were like hey we would love to do a brand deal taking you to the Renaissance tour, Beyonce's Renaissance tour. So that is what I'm doing today. Um, and it's paid. It's not just like tickets. It's not just like VIP tickets or a, a ride to the concert. It's paid. Like this is my life. Like that's crazy. Oh, I feel so blessed. Oh, I feel so blessed. It's in moments like this, where you have to like have utter and consistent gratefulness. Like you can't take any of this for granted. I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed for having that conversation with my boyfriend and putting Atlanta in my bio. I feel so blessed for the career that I have and the opportunities it allows me to do and to get paid to do what I love. And I'm just, I feel extremely humble and extremely blessed. I'm not gonna get emotional. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing this weekend. We are going to the Renaissance tour. So we're going to the Renaissance tour today. And then tomorrow I have a brunch with Revolve. Revolve is coming to Atlanta. Um, so that's going to be more so networking. Today is going to be more so work. Tomorrow is going to be work, but networking. Um, I like having a relationship with Revolve personally personally i really like them they always support me just i really like them so and then on saturday is going to be another um filming day um some sit down and talking videos so i thought i would just vlog this weekend i'll probably go out maybe after the beyonce concert maybe i'll go out tomorrow as well who knows um but it should be a fun weekend it should be a good vlog and I am excited to take y'all alongside with me. Right now, I'm just doing a very basic skincare because I am about to put on makeup. I'm getting ready for the Beyonce concert kind of early. Well, in about a few hours. I think it's about, I don't even have my phone with me, I don't think. Um, it's about 10 a.m. Yeah, it's around 10 a.m. And I want to start, because I'm gonna film on YouTube a chit chat, get ready with me talking about everything content creator, everything like that. And then um, I have a whole bunch of content I need to film for Lexus and the Renaissance concert. So um, I probably, obviously the chit chat, get ready with me on YouTube will be separate. You won't see me get ready, um, but you will see the aftermath, kind of the behind the scenes of all the content that I need to shoot for Lexus. You're gonna see the concert, you're gonna see after the concert tomorrow. And then um, Sunday is just gonna be a rest and reset day. So that is the plan I currently have. I just put on a very, very light moisturizer. Um, I'm gonna let that soak in while I eat a very good breakfast. I wanna make sure that I am adequately uh, full. I need to make, on, on busy days like this, I need to make sure I eat. So I'm gonna eat breakfast now. Jordan comes around, I'm, I get to bring a plus one. So Jordan comes around four. So I probably will order like Chick-fil-A or something fast um, to eat right beforehand. 
and yeah, but we can't get we can't get lit, we can't get drunk until the content is found. So let's go make our everyday breakfast. Go plan the day. Oh, I also have to shoot a, fr a freaking brand deal. That's why I have so much time. Okay, before I even start filming for YouTube, which I get me, I have a brand deal that needs to be filmed and turned in. It's just gonna be a busy day. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but that is what this weekend is gonna be, so. to film a quick brand deal for Ritual. I really, really love Ritual. I think they're a really good brand and I've heard really good things about them. Um, and they said in their brief, like it's not necessary, but if you do have something yellow, then um, they would appreciate that in the video. So it'll be a really quick video. It's almost gonna be like testimonial style. I'm gonna film it in my kitchen. But the only thing is, is this has a Gymshark logo on it. So I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna mess around. Um, so I need to make sure my hair is down to uh, cover the logo. Um, I feel like my hair looks freshly out of the gym. Um, again, I'm not even really doing much to my hair in general today um, because it's gonna be in a hat all day. So there's no point in really doing all of that. But I wrote out my script and everything like that. So it's going to be super simple to just set up my camera and start start filming. That I should start by saying, Okay, change of slight plans, but not really. Um, Benji has been super good and he's been super quiet while I've been filming. I, I turned in the brand deal, but he's been super good while I've been filming and I'm gonna be gone for a long time tonight. So I think I might just go take him on a walk really quickly. Um, take him on a walk, uh, give him like a treat or something so that he'll allow me to film um, YouTube and sit down and film all the content that I need to um, real quick. But um, yeah, I think we're just gonna go on a little walk right now. He's not much of a walker, so I don't even know if he would want that. Yeah, so let me go and take him on a walk. Let me appease him so he'll let me film the rest of the day. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so makeup's already done. We already filmed it. What I filmed was like my long lasting concert or vacation makeup. Um, I thought it was gonna be like a chit chat, but it was very much like makeup. Like this is what, I just wanna get like questions about my makeup that I get a lot up on my channel so I can like refer it back to people. I'm not gonna be a makeup guru, but definitely wanna have those on my channel so I can refer them back to people, look at the mess. So, Benji has been super good, haven't you? You been good? <laughs> He's been super good. 
and I finished early, earlier kind of than I thought. It's about 2.30 now. I'm right down the street from the treat store and I already kind of wanted to get Chick-fil-A because I know how important eating is gonna be today. And he's all really out of his favorite treats. All he has left is like duck hearts. So I thought we could head on and get some treats and go get some Chick-fil-A um, for today. And then we'll come back. I wanna, I wanna be back by like 3.15 and then I can start filming from like 3.15 to like 4.30 when um, Jordan comes and everything like that. Uh, so get this, get this, get his little thing. go grab him <laughs> so we are gonna go get the baby boy some treats because he deserves it he's been really good today really quiet um and letting mommy film um so let's go get you some treats he looks so cute this is one of benji's like favorite places in the world it's called city dog market and it has his favorite bub are you excited it has his favorite um, treats um, inside and there. It's all like a lot of like raw dog food and things like that. So we're gonna go, look at him. He's so excited. We're gonna go and, he, and also like the people that like work inside are like literally his favorite in the whole world. So we're gonna go inside and get his favorite treats before he freaks out. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> okay, that was very successful. Um, it's about 3.07 right now. I thought the Chick-fil-A that I was near had a drive-thru. I thought all Chick-fil-A's had drive throughs It's so irritating. But they only have a curbside pickup and that was not going to happen. And I really need to like eat something. I definitely need to eat something before um, I go. Because um, I'm going to be standing and everything. But I also need to film. So it's like 310. 310 right now. People in Atlanta cannot drive. They just can't. They are inept. Because what was the reason for stopping? So let's put health above uh, recording because I know myself, I get hungry very easily. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stop in this drive-in, drive-through Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna eat some of it now, but I'm also gonna eat some of it in the car <laughs> on the way because I live, I live like far. Like I don't live close to the stadium like at all. Um, and we're going like prime rush hour, so I really won't be close to this. So day. I had like an ingenious thought. I just door dashed the Chick-fil-A to me so I can just get up, start filming. It's already like almost 3.30 right now. This, but I thought I'd do a little dog haul of what I got him. First thing, it's this little monkey. I got him. He seems to really like it in the store. His graduation is next week, so I got him a little hat. This is ridiculous. I got him some lamb shoes. He seems to really like these in the store. I don't know what this is. It's something raw, but he likes the sweet tartar bones. He's obsessed with this Wild Meadow Farms, the duck bite. He also likes these no hide shoes. And the last things we got him were lamb sausages. So I think right now I'm gonna give him one of these lamb patties. Here you go, Bubba. Now we get to film. Well, we gotta fix the hair first. We gotta go fix the hair first. Here's the thing about my hair for today. I'm gonna be wearing a cowboy outfit. So you're really not gonna be, like my hair isn't gonna be like the focal point of my outfit. So I don't wanna put any unnecessary heat. And then I'm also just not gonna curl it because I'm gonna be dancing and having fun. Like the curls are gonna drop, babies. I am so 
type A about my content and doing content like kind of on the fly, having to post on the fly is like <laughs> nerve wracking. I think the biggest things that they just kind of emphasized because I had a call with them the other day. Biggest things they really emphasized were no direct shots or music from the concert and no celebrities um and what else no alcohol they really just want to see like the fans they want to see like what the fans are wearing the interactions with the fans that's what they really want to see and that's what we're going to give them so here here's my thing with beyonce I'm never like cut that Beyonce on and I don't like listen to it in the car now. But you have to admit she is the greatest performer of our time. Like when you want to talk about Michael Jackson, you want to talk about Prince, like performers, I would say Beyonce, Prince, Michael Jackson. When I think of performers, those are my top three. I'd be very interested to hear your uh, top three performers. We're not talking about music here. I mean, although music is very obviously important, but we're talking about performances. Like they give it to the girls. Like they, you're gonna get a show, baby. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this yeah. girl, man. From around my way. Every time I hold back your feelings. Do you like it? We have the, this whole outfit is from Amazon. Everything is from Amazon. I have a little bralette. This is what we're looking like. I look at the shoes, but everything from the shoes to the fit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> I feel like this is like the calm before the storm. Got my Chick fil A. I really don't think I can bring my camera. And plus, I don't even feel like I have space. But don't, don't you worry. I'm gonna get some stuff on my phone for y'all. We're gonna be vlogging. Don't you worry your pretty little head. We're gonna be on it tonight. I was just on the phone with my mom. And she was like, she was like, uh, what are you shooting for? And I was like, everything. I'm shooting for everything. We have TikTok. Instagram, um, YouTube, everything is being vlogged. I think this is one of the hard, harder brand deals. This might be the hardest brand deal I've had to do in my life, even though it's like the most fun. Just the fact that it's on so many platforms and they want it all in real time and they want the vlogs on both ends, the Instagram and the TikTok within, 20, within 48 hours. So, it's gonna be a tough one. I kinda just wanna like get to work and then enjoy myself at the concert. Just being cognizant that this is a brand deal. We are going to work. This is not the time to dilly dally. Yes, we're gonna have fun, but we're gonna be on our ish. It's here, we are on our way. I am so excited. Let's go! Oh. 
hasn't budged. That was after a concert, y'all. Hopefully I can have better lighting. Obviously my voice is gone, but makeup has not budged. Obviously my voice is gone. Beyonce was amazing. Good morning vlog. It is Saturday. Saturday, August 12th, and it is about 9.30, 9.45 a.m. Obviously, you can tell I don't have a voice, <laughs> and I am so exhausted. But I told you this was going to be a busy weekend. Um, so I went ahead and I dropped Benji off a day. I woke up, took Benji for a walk, dropped him off at daycare, um, fed him, packed his lunch, everything. Uh, stopped by Brooklyn Bagels to get some breakfast bagels for um, breakfast. I'm sorry, all my mind's all over the place. And there is a Revolve brunch at noon. I live about 30 minutes away from the brunch. So it's currently almost 10. Um, I wanted to film like another chit chat, get ready with me, but I don't think I have time. It's really not even going to be my makeup today. It's going to be my hair. My hair is all over the place. Like I was dancing. I was having fun last night. Like y'all saw like, oh my God. I think the number one thing about Beyonce is like you see her in pictures, you see her in music videos, like we've grown up with Beyonce. And then you see her in person and you realize she's just a human being who has an incredible amount of determination and discipline and talent. Um, I don't know, it was kind of humbling, like, I, like I'm not gonna be the next Beyonce, but it was very humbling to the point where it's like, oh, you're, you're, you're literally a human being and you dedicated yourself to your craft. Like it was, I don't know, it was just very inspiring. Real quick, I'm applying, I've been on this for the past like two weeks. It's called Suspera. It's an intensive pigment corrector. And um, you're supposed to leave it 15 minutes. You're supposed to leave it on your skin for 15 minutes a day. Um, so I typically put it on in the morning time and then I'll eat breakfast while it's in there. But so I say all that to say is I probably won't be able to film like a tick, like a get ready with me of any sort. No type of filming because I don't want to be late. Teaching in the film got caught up. Spider web sex must have got caught up. But there's more to it. I remember once saying less on the peons. Let's go to Vegas and watch Celine Dion. Make them say what we on. You say no like you was doing it for eons. Funk it, I just hum and let the watch give off the neons. When it rains, it pours. I laugh to hey myself. Yo, I am rushing out of this door. I'm late. So late. But it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just hoping that it like doesn't, it's not one of those like sit down things that like truly, truly, truly begins on time. Um, I'll film more of an outfit of the day on TikTok and everything, but very cute. Very cute and brunchy and summertimey. Very okay. late to this event, like 20 minutes late. But it's fine, cause I feel like I just saw somebody like walk in I just don't know if it's gonna be like a sit down brunch or not, but I guess we'll see. Hopefully you saw my outfit beforehand, but I will see you all inside. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs>
beautiful brunch. I love stuff like that. So like interesting being in a space where I truly feel like accepted and like in the influencer space and like everyone's recording stuff and everyone looks beautiful. And we can talk about like management and prices and things that we go through as like an influencer. Like it was just, it was some really good conversations and it made me feel really good. So I'm glad I went. Also like was one of the first people there. I, I was like running super late. Um, so that made me happy. So it is 3.13 right now. I have to pick up Benji from daycare by 6. And I need to film a YouTube video. And I gotta edit. I, I, got, I got so much to do. I remember when I used to be in law school and I always felt like super out of place. And I never felt like speaking and I just thought like that's who like my my personality was. Like I just thought like oh, I don't really speak in class or whatever. But in reality, I was just in the wrong space. Like in influencer spaces like that, I'm so talkative and I feel so understood. And I just, I feel super, super grateful that uh, I'm able to, uh, I've been able to find a community that um, appreciates me and likes me. So we're gonna go in our little corner again. Sorry for the lighting. Unfortunately, you always have to do two takes. So let's see how that one turned out. We'll film another one. We'll film some posing videos and then we'll finish filming content. I have about an hour and a half till I pick up Benji. <sighs> I just wanna shut my eyes. I am so tired Good. right now to be in my bed. Light, that's so interesting. But I got up, I drove in the rain to go get Benji. They said he was so good at Doggy Daycare. He said there was star of the show, star of the class. Um, so he did really, Benji, he did really well. Um, so my place is currently a mess right now. I don't care, tomorrow's gonna be really like a true reset day. True reset day. Um, if it's not raining, then I'll go run some errands. But if not, then I'll just leave that till Monday. Um, I got two exciting PR packages. The first PR package is from Say Beauty. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure you've seen them. I got a PR package from them. And then I also got a PR package from Tree Hut. Oh, not all of it falling out from a uh, Tree Hut, and it's their um, coffee and cream, sweet cream whipped shea butter, and it's vanilla and coconut extracts. Like this is my thing, and then their pumpkin spice latte shea sugar scrub. Like they couldn't have picked a better person to send this to. I am not. I'm not gonna leave this alone. This is sickening. They should have never sent this to me. Like. That will be in everything. So I'm excited later this week to try some of the Say Beauty for you in a uh, chit chat, get ready with me. But the plan today is I am about to make my typical breakfast and then I'm gonna wash my face, everything like that. And then honestly y'all, I'm gonna start to work. First things first to get out of the way is the YouTube description for the YouTube upload that's going up today. I'll have a little ticker of what it is. It's like how to make high value female friendships. And then um, we're going to edit the TikTok and the reel, get that uploaded. And then that should be it in terms of like work. Just I can pass that like stocking. Just Josh, I'm spinning.
Lockin' in, solid, they lockin' My body got rid of them toxins Sports in the top ten I can put the ball in the end zone Put a bad bitch in the friend zone This shit sound like an intro Jet song, give me that tempo So cool, get full with the shit Told her, don't let her friend zone In the field, and I move like a dime Even better cheat me a Vincenzo I like to call it a passion I can be sitting relaxed I've been doing a lot of reflecting this weekend and the life that I've kind of built for myself and how it just looks so different than the path that I was heading down law school consulting whatever it may be um and it's I don't know I've just been doing a lot of reflecting because it's like wow I really on one hand changed my life I have all of these incredible opportunities. I feel so grateful and I feel so humble. A part of me also is like, are people gonna look at all these accomplishments and think that this was easy? Like my entire life fell apart. Like I've actually had to be very strong to like get to this point in my time. But then are also on the same time, are people gonna think like, Oh, am I complaining about being an influencer and all the opportunities? And no, it's not really that. It's that I feel an immense amount. Hold on, let me write this up. <laughs> Gratefulness and humbleness. And it's like, wow, like, who would have ever thought when I started my TikTok journey that I would be going to Beyonce's and going to dinners and being in spaces that I finally felt comfortable and like alive in and... I would be, I would have the career of my dreams at such a young age and be making money from it. And just, I'm, I'm so, so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for y'all. I'm so grateful for me. <laughs> For sticking it out and just not giving up on myself and being consistent and I don't know I just I, I feel like a lot of emotions this week and those emotions are really like gratefulness humbleness but also eager to tell my story to for people to be like oh like when you see Beyonce concert when you see Revolved Dinner when you see this 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 know that it took almost everything falling apart for it to get to this point and I absolutely deserve it. I literally absolutely deserve it. I never give up on myself. I might pause, I might take a break, a much needed break, but I never give up on myself. I never stop. I might pivot, I might change my mind, which is completely okay. But I truly did bet on myself and I went for it and all the opportunities that I have now are a product of me saying F it and choosing myself and, and being relentless and just I think a lot of people look at influencers and they're like, I want that life, I want that life, I'm just gonna start being an influencer. But a lot of the influencers that I know personally that are successful are the ones that kind of fell into influencing, didn't immediately quit their day jobs and they were already kind of passionate about something and content creation was just an outlet for them to express that passion. Um, they didn't do it for the money. They didn't do it for the fame and everything like that. They did it out of passion, out of authenticity, out of humbleness so that when they do do great things and they do reach some sort of success in their life, it's very warranted the reason that you go through things in your life is that when you reach that high point you know what it took to get to that point so you are forever humble in that moment and you don't take it for granted and you don't waste an opportunity away like god is going to humble you so that when you get to that point you don't mess it up because the things that you want in your life right now you're gonna get them child i promise you you're gonna get that but if you have to be realistic with yourself right now, the person that you are today, could that person handle what God has in store for you? God is about to give you a whole bunch of money. You are about to be rich. Do you know how to budget? Do you know what it's like to be on your last dollar and make it stretch? You don't. 
So why would he give you all of this money just for you to throw it away? No, he's going to teach you how to budget. He's going to teach you how to save. He's going to teach you how to invest. He's going to teach you how to use your credit cards. He's going to teach you how to move with money so that when he gives you all of this money, you don't mess it up. You know, people want fame and they want success. Well, some people want fame and some people want success. God is going to remove everybody out of your life so you know loneliness. You know what it's like to be by yourself. You know what it's like to not be influenced by people's opinions of you and to be to go to the beat of your own drum so that when you do get that success and you do get that notoriety you don't fall into the traps of being a yes man and being influenced by everybody around you because you know what loneliness feels like does that make sense like that that's that's how i'm feeling right now i'm like damn while i was going through all of that all of that all that shit was really hard it was heartbreaking and i didn't know if I was gonna get out of it. But now that I reached this point and I reached this weekend and I'm so excited, I'm like, yes, I had to go through all of that. I had to go through all of that because it's in this moment that I don't let it get to my head and I don't get cocky about it. And I, and instead I'm just extremely humble and I'm taking the lessons that I learned out of it and I'm soaking in this moment and I'm feeling this moment and I'm riding the high of this moment to become even. Okay, better. hey y'all, it is later on in the night. And by later on, I mean seven o'clock. See, this is why I can't be a weekly vlogger. I will forget every single time. I'm about to give Benji his food. I went to go start cleaning my house because I was really just editing all day, making sure everything was in order. TikTok, Reels, YouTube, everything. Um, took a quick nap. And then I just got out. I just got up, walked Benji real quick. Now... I want to go start cleaning and I want to go start my laundry because I have no more underwear and I'm out of laundry detergent. So what I had was so what I did Sunday night, I went ahead and I ordered myself a pizza for pickup. And so I'm gonna pop on down to Target, get so we have to get some laundry detergent. We have to get some paper towels. Um we need to get some more snacks. Um that's mainly it. Those are the main things that need to get got from Target real quick. And then after I'm done from there, I will pop on over and I will get my pizza. So let's get in the car. sort but if y'all shop at target pretty frequently and y'all don't have the red card i don't know what you're doing with your life like my total was 127 and i saved eight dollars on that one trip alone and then like it adds up all the points for you and you get like all these like special deals and like you could really make target cheap af with that card i don't know why if you really shop at Target, like I shop at Target once a week, sometimes multiple times a week. I don't know why you you don't have the, uh... see, if he wanted to, he would. This is my boyfriend. He's watching my YouTube vlogs. If he wanted to, he would. Just finished. I'm so proud of you, debrief tonight. Aw, that's sweet. Good man, Savannah. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to go pick up some pizza now, get back home, um, I'm going to do like a little self-care night, do a shower, do a face mask, scrub my body, sit down, eat some pizza, I got some wine, talk to the love of my life a little bit, like I can't, I was actually on the phone with my mom earlier. And just telling her how I've been like ripping and running this weekend, ripping and running this weekend. And honestly, for the past couple of weeks, I've just been in such a content creator mode. And I've just been filming, I've been content batching, I've been filming, I've been filming, I've been filming. And I love that I'm in that mode, I'm back in that mode. But I do know I take advantage of being back in that mode and I can quickly be burnt out. So, this upcoming week, I have so much content batched. I have about 30 TikToks content batched off rip. I have about four off the top of my head YouTube videos alone 
content batch. They just need to be edited. So knowing that I have that, I am going to take this upcoming week off uh, from filming unless I think I think at the top of my mind, there's one brand deal, two brand deals that need to be filmed this week. Um, but if it's not work this week, I'm, I'm not going to uh, film um, or take a break. Uh, the best thing for me that I've found with not getting burnt out is to starve my passion. I feel like I'm about to speak a word to y'all. One of the best things that you can possibly do to prevent burnout is to starve your passion. I think a lot of us, I first heard this from my lash tech actually, when, when, when our hand was like hurting. And she said, I just, I love meeting my clients. I love talking to my clients. I love lashing. I love the money I get from it. Did I go too hard with it because I finally found something I like love to do that like it doesn't feel like work to me. And then, but it feels like work to my body and eventually my body will, and my mind will burn out even though like my heart doesn't. First heard that from my lash tech. And I really feel that in the career that I'm in right now, it's like it doesn't really feel like work to me all the time. So when I'm in such a creative mode, I can tend to want to go 150% with it until I give out and I burn out. Um, and I and I really did that the first like year and a half, two years, until I took a, a content batched and then I took a planned break and what I did is I starved my passion. I literally told myself, because if you truly like love to do what you want to do, I told myself, I said, you cannot film this next week. And I don't know if I'm just a very defiant type of person, but when I'm told I can't do something, it makes me want to do it. And all of a sudden, like these ideas during the week start coming to my head and I write them down. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do it. It's like the anticipation builds, builds, builds. And then I tell myself, I'm like, okay, you can film this week. And then all those ideas and then I get excited. That is how I prevent burnout. I prevent burnout by content batching, by filming a whole bunch of videos in like two days, two, three days chilling the rest of the week and then I also starve my creativity I starve my passion I starve myself of it so that I build up that anticipation so I'm always wanting it and this isn't this didn't just come off rip this is just free game I'm giving y'all it took me a really long time to realize that uh, that's the best way that I personally work is starving my passion I'm all moisturized. Probably my face is like super red after doing that mask. Let me know if you want like an in-depth self-care night. I try to do that every Sunday. Get back to myself with my little PJs for the night, drinking my wine. I'm about to watch Love Island, continue eating my pizza, and just set myself up for a really good week. House is clean. I'm moisturized. My skin feels good. Um, I talked to my boyfriend for a little bit. Um, just always makes me so happy um, so I feel really good I feel really good after this crazy crazy weekend but hopefully you enjoyed anything hopefully you enjoyed everything if you liked this video if you like this type of content like this video it makes it lets me know if you like these type of vlogs or if you just like the sit down videos like it really helps me out um and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so yeah i will catch you in the next vlog but thank you so much for watching this and i'll catch y'all later all right bye y'all